Hello, this is Chris from Optinet. This time, we're going to look at how to price up and manage your own spectacle lenses in Flex. So, what you'll need to do is click to Menu and choose Setup. And when that opens, we're going to click into the Orders tab. Couple of general settings here around the orders and dispense in Flex, not too much to these pages, and you can find out more about them on the portal. But where we're going to start is the Hawkstone Lens Catalogues tab. So Hawkstone are the intermediary between the manufacturers of spectacle lenses and providers of PMS like ourselves. So if there's a catalogue that you don't see in this list, if you speak to your lens supplier in the first instance, they may be able to get logged in on the Hawkstone system. To download a catalogue, what you can do is click on its name and then download updates. I appreciate updates, sounds like you've got it already, but just to download it in the first instance also. Uh, you can also download updates just for the ones you've got in use. So that's got the in use tick box here. Uh, I would not recommend pressing all of them. It will take quite some time. So what we've got here is the Essilor catalogue that I downloaded, for example, and you can create your own custom catalogue. Press create custom, give it a name, and then it'll appear. I've got one here just called Flex. Uh, also, we have an option for downloading SF6 catalogues. So this is for suppliers who've sent us data directly in SF6, which is a recognized format uh, for these catalogues. You can download a couple in there. Again, a warning that they can take quite some time to download, uh, especially the Zeiss catalog due to the amount of lens data in them. Uh, if you do want to reset, again, tread with care, but it's going to ask you if you want to delete lenses from here. Uh, and again, just ones you've selected or all of them. Again, I would exercise caution with that button. So if we click across now into my lens catalogue, you're going to see two different windows here. The right hand pane, this is like a holding area. So lenses that you have downloaded from the internet, uh, from Hawkstone, will appear in this list. So for example, if I click on Essilor, it shows all the Essilor lenses I've downloaded. The left-hand pane is going to show all the lenses we've actually got on our system, so available for you and your DOs to dispense in Flex. So, to copy lenses, you can press Copy All. When I do this on a training day, I obviously don't know the lenses that you use day in, day out, so I do go Nuclear and download everything for you. Uh, but what you can do is just select a certain lens or description. Little tip, hold down the Control, CTRL button on your keyboard, and you can just pick and choose which lenses you want to copy across. Pull them over from right to left, and they are then available in your lens book. If you want to create your own lenses, if I click on Flex, that was the one I made, just in the description, just here, you're going to see a Add Custom Lens button appear. So if you want to put your own lenses on, if I press Add Custom Lens, I can give it a name. So I'm going to call this a 1.5 Very Focal, for example. Uh, code, again, you can search by lens codes, but strictly speaking, it doesn't matter too much what goes in here. Uh, material index, I'm going to mark it as a very focal. That's how the dispense module in Flex will know it's a progressive and it's going to give us the nudge around the heights and the direction for them. And you can give the lens a price. So um, if this pair of lenses was £100, I'd put in 50 because we price per lens, not per pair. And what we also have is this kaleidoscope button here where we can add on all of the treatments. Again, similar to the lenses themselves on the right hand pane. It's what's available in the catalogue, and on the left-hand pane, what's available on mine. So, for example, to add a treatment on, I'm going to just call this a hard coat lens. That's going to be £20 per pair, so £10 per lens. So now I've got two different treatments available, and I could drag those across, and they're now available to be sold on the system. The good thing about using manufacturer's data is as well as getting cost prices that you can generate formally from, they give you all of the range data generally and all of the treatments, etc. It's only ever as good as the manufacturer data that's supplied. Uh, I shan't call out the very good and very bad ones here, but you'll probably soon get a, a flavour for them uh, when you do use them. But you can add range data in here as well. I think, in honesty, a little bit of a false economy if you're making your own lens book. But here, I've now created a lens. And when I save that, that's now in my lens book. And we could put a price in when I first created it. Under my lens prices, that's where you'll be able to choose your supplier. So under flex, I can go in and I can reprice my lenses here if I need to. Just to show you the Essilor data that's appearing in there. Uh, what we can see here, uh, so this iZen Boost 0.85 or 1.5. Uh, the reason we have so many different lines here is all the different blank sizes. But if I just price up the yellow one, which is called like the stock header. So if I call this £30, 
is going to price all of those lenses up for me at £30. Again, please remember, it's price per lens, not per pair. <laughs> uh, you can assign formulae to these lenses as well. So if I want to assign, again, I've not got any form set up, but if I want to assign to a retail price, I can do that in there. And with tints and coats also, so looking at Essilor, these are all the tints and coats available. You can price these up here. And if I just look at my own tints and coats that I've made, we saw MAR and hard coat, didn't we? If I wanted to, I could come in and change the prices of these two. So this is where you can create your own lens book. And now we'll have a quick look to see how that appears in the front end of Flex. So when we come to put on a new dispense, if I choose add lenses, then we could see that very focal that I made before. If I double click on it, it's brought that through and it's brought through the prices and I can go through and choose the coatings that I want on it as well. If for some reason you want to add a new lens on at this point as well, that's absolutely fine. Press new lens and it will bring up exactly the same cards, just in the front end of flex. Think, oh, I never got around to putting that 1.59 polycarb or 1.53 Trivex on. You can put it on here and you have all of the same functionality. So that is how you would create your own lens book in Flex. I would recommend using manufacturer's data if you can, if it's up to it. Um, however, that's a quick overview of how you can generate one. If you do want me to have a look and just advise on the best way to do it, I know different places, for example, will knock off prices if people don't want um, certain tints and coats, etc. If you want me to have a quick look, I will do. Uh, you can raise a ticket on the portal at the top of your screen and I'll be happy to help with that. So any more questions, make sure you do let us know and always keep checking out our YouTube channel where more videos are always being added.